grid remains top of mind for Texans as we deal with these dangerous temperatures. We've been monitoring closely the grid conditions on ERCOT's website. Take a look. This is a time lapse of the operating reserves. That number has been going up and down all day long. But what has not changed, this explainer posted on the bottom. It says there is enough power for current demand. Andy Sirota is covering the power struggle tonight. And Andy, no official conservation request from ERCOT today. Keith, Daniela, no official conservation request, but some Centerpoint Energy customers are dealing with extended outages because of the additional stress that is being put on the equipment that safely manages the flow of electricity into homes and businesses. Keeping the power supply and demand in harmony is a delicate balancing act for ERCOT, which operates the state's power grid, which continues to be tested after another brutally hot day across Texas. When it comes to addressing the challenges of managing grid demands during the summer, there is no one single magic fix, and conservation is only a piece of the puzzle. We have increased capacity by a large degree since the winter storm, which will help in instances like this when we have really hot weather. Dr. Kevin Jones, a professor of finance at U of H downtown, says we need to balance our need for a more sustainable grid using clean, renewable sources of energy with more dispatchable forms of generation that can be brought online and produce power when we need them. We need to find ways to incentivize generators to bring more dispatchable forms of power onto the grid. Wind and solar, he says, are great, but they can be unpredictable. In addition to natural gas, which is one of the cheapest forms of electricity generation, Jones says another long-term solution that would alleviate some of the stress on the grid to have ERCOT come up with a more consistent way to forecast long-term demand for electricity. Tonight, the heat also causing a financial strain for many local families across our area who can no longer afford to pay their skyrocketing utility bills. Baker Ripley, which runs a utility assistance program, says it has been receiving anywhere from 50 to 100 calls a day from families who need help paying their bills. That's double from what it was this time last year. Reporting live in Upper Kirby tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News. People in need in this high heat.